A hearty welcome back to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband, Savanapum Mahayud. And this is the city of Longvec, and once again, Frigoberto is not wearing any clothes. Well, he is wearing some pants, I guess. I forgot to take his boots off. Oh well. It's not going to be a problem, but we are looking for a treasure chest, and it took forever... And I'm serious, forever to find this chest. Just look at how devious the placement of this chest was. So if you'll notice, as you come here, you cannot go any further. This is the end of the settlement. So you would wisely think, well, the chest can't be over here because it's impossible to get there. There's an invisible wall. Well, you would be wrong. And it still might take me a while to do this because it was quite difficult. You have to get on the one barrel, move back a little bit, and then get on the other. Which I don't seem to be doing really well right now. Alright, come on. Come on, Frigoberto. Ah, Frigoberto. There we go. There we go. And then up on the roof. And this was really frustrating to me because if you look down here, you see a ladder. Now, it may have been the intention of the designers that you can get here from that ladder, but you cannot. I climbed to the top of that ladder multiple times. I tried jumping in all directions, and there was nothing I can do. However, there is another ladder here that you can see. And all of a sudden, this area that was blocked by an invisible wall that you could not get through is suddenly accessible. Even though the game tried very hard to make you think that it was not. And look what we found. A chest. Oh, no, don't kick the chest, Frigoberto. Open the chest. There we go. We have another closed burgonet. Great helmet. But, as you probably noticed in the previous episodes, I like my companions to be visible. Rapiers are a terrible weapon. It's got a great thrust, but I never use thrust. A four barrels matchlock, but it cannot be used on horseback. A Spanish... Spanish... Queer ass... I finally found out how to pronounce that. Which is pretty good, I guess, but nothing compared to Italy full plate armor. Better leg armor, though. And more golden shoes. I'm getting kind of sick of the golden shoes, and I'm trying to find more black leather boots that I can give to everybody. But since we found it, let's put our armor back on. The balanced elite scimitar, of course. Our shield, and our pistol, and our cartridges. So now, actually, I'm using the Masterwork Arabian Mace, aren't I, right now? But let's save the Scimitar up here. The rest of this stuff can be sold. I mean, maybe we'll give the Burgonet to Winhemu if he needs it. We'll see. Let's get out of here. So we're in Long Vec. In the Kingdom of Long Vec. All right, Winhemu. Yeah, so you can see his face with this hat. I like those better. This is 48. Oh, wow, but the difference is this is 82. That's a big difference. But now you really can't tell the difference between the two of us, except that he's wearing golden shoes and I'm not. Makes a huge difference to his head armor, though. 48 to 82, that's big. However, he is on a horse, so I can't imagine him being hit in the head very often. You know what? I'm going to hold on to the helmet. That's the one cool thing about having a castle to call your home, is you can store items. There's my stubborn water buffalo. I probably should move back to a horse. We have the heavy hunter. And the Swaybacked Hunter. We can't ride the Cataphract just yet. And these are just our saddle horses. Alright, we'll go with the Heavy Hunter. But we'll save the Water Buffalo. Actually, I normally save stuff up in the top. So I will continue to do that. And the Battered European Buckler we can get rid of. Or wait, that was a really good shield, right? 
We should give it to somebody. Not win him you. This will sell. This will possibly sell. I don't know. Let's see what everybody has here. Lurkin. How much better? It's 41.5. 50, this is much better. You look a little bulky. And you add a ton of encumbrance, but you gain a ton of armor. You're mostly on a bow, though. You, what, what is this weapon here? A dagger? Can't be used to block. I think she could do a little better than that. This is only worth 660. But it is such a terrible weapon. Swing 25. The dagger almost has as good a swing. It's the thrust that's really good. Hopefully she'll, being an NPC, will know what to do and will thrust more often. And you can have some golden shoes. Why not? I'm just going to equip everyone really well. Because I've already equipped the people I really care about. And if we lose Lurkin, if we lose Gendo, if we lose Parnwad, that's just going to happen. I'm going to move up the ones I really care about. Tipsuda, Davi, Shopper Kimpy, Winhimu, and Sima. Lurkin, Zulang, Gendo, and Parnwad. They're just along for the ride. In fact, let's try this. Will you support my cause? You will... Go tell a prophecy to everybody. Okay. I've heard that if you do this, they might upset people that don't like her. But she's disgruntled already, so you might as well get the use out of her. And hopefully that'll work out. Her morale's excellent. 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 And excellent. Good. But he's also disgruntled, so not that excellent. Is anybody I like disgruntled? No. Nope. Enthusiastic. Excellent. Enthusiastic. That's just what I want to hear. Definitely enthusiastic. Okay. Enthusiastic. And enthusiastic. Okay. Well, they're the only ones I care about. Well, Lurkin's pretty good. She's disgruntled. She's downright appalled at my choice of companions and not at all happy about the general state of affairs. Hmm. I just don't think there's anything I can do about this. Who is it that she doesn't like? I think it's... Tipsuda. So, well, it is what it is. These four are probably not going to last. Actually, three. Oh, right, because I got rid of Parnwad. All right, well, we've wasted enough time dealing with that. Let's hire some of whatever these people are. Mercenaries. Cham mercenaries. That's interesting. Okay. All right, why not? And we're full now. So I guess it's back to the lands of the Mac. But for right now, let's be kind of sneaky. And let's drive through the Ley Lands. To see if we can't opportunistically pick off some of their lords. Okay. Okay. Just reading the notes there. And also, I have to say a big hearty thank you to Grimith, who has given me some verses for the epic of Frigoberto. Now, Grimith, I'm sure many of you already know, but he is an experienced and well-loved Let's Player himself. Been doing this for a lot longer than I have, actually. I've, I actually knew about him from a long time ago due to his Dwarf Fortress Let's Play. I understand that you've given leave to Parnwad to spread, uh-oh, to spread some nonsense about marks on your hands. I just want to say that, as an educated man, I find it disturbing that you would resort to old woman superstitions to back your claim. 
All right. So now Shopper Kimpy is pissed, and I cannot have that. He's one of my favorites. But he only lost a tiny bit of morale. He's still enthusiastic, so... I think we're okay. Anyway, back to Grimmeth. So, lately, Grimmeth is still doing series, but it's on lesser-known games, at least to me. So, but definitely check him out. And while we're here parading through the lands of the Lay, I shall regale you with one of his verses. He's Frigaberto, Frigaberto de Valencia, swinging down with all his might. His tiny mace can but slight. Swing Frigaberto. Now, I don't know, man. I don't know how Frigaberto would feel about his mace being referred to as tiny. It's not the size of the mace that counts, it's how you use it. Mac Antong is now the marshal. And he will be marshal for approximately a day or two until he's defeated in battle. And they make a new marshal. And so far, we've just seen a bunch of nothing. Peasants. Some cities. I don't want to screw around. Like that, for example. All right, veteran Wacko Bandit, Waco Bandit. I helped your friends in a battle. I guess you don't know that. I also outnumber you 70 to 8. Are you high? I mean, what what exactly do you think is going to happen here? Cavalry. Up in the back. Oh, please, veteran Wacko Bandits or Waco Bandits. I'd love to see what you have in store for me here. Infantry? Let's go up a little bit. That way our ranged troops will have a little bit of clear space. And we'll also see what the proportion is of our troops. Our troops are, as you can see, mostly ranged. Or at least mixed use, but primarily ranged. Although it's kind of a mixture because this veteran Waco bandit here, who's fighting for us, is using a bow. But he set his infantry. Whereas the Ming deserters, who are good infantry, are in ranged. So there you have that. Let's see if we can't get this guy. Nope. We need a bit more firearms training. Everyone does, it seems like. Oh, somebody got him. I think somebody got my horse. Yep, they sure did. That wasn't very cool, man. Man, I am lousy with this gun. Excellent work, men. Not one single casualty, except for Zhu Lang, and we don't care about him. And we got samurai armor. That'll be worth a pretty penny. A Kabuto, samurai boots. Not as good as golden boots, unfortunately. Bodkin arrows, somebody might be able to use those. A Wakazishi, and we'll leave the hats alone. I think the only person we have... Oh, good! Shopper Kimpy likes Yamada. That's good. That's good. I think I forgot all about Yamada, actually. There he is. And we're going to move him up. And hopefully, since... Shopper Kimpy likes him, we'll be able to keep him. We'll just make sure he's not hated by anyone else. So Lurkin is the only one who has a bow. Oh, Tipsuda, we want to give her a bow, don't we? But we don't have a bow for her just yet, so we'll give her arrows for right now, until such time as we have a bow that she can use. And I was told in the comments, and I, you know, I gotta say right off the bat that I think it is great that there are people that are watching this series that are from Thailand. I think that's amazing, because I'm just, you know, 
just a white guy from America playing this game. I have no connection to the area, but I enjoy the fact that people from different areas and different cultures are watching my series. And one of the things I was told by one of my Thai visitors is about the Jatulanka Barts. And I guess the name has the number four in it. I think it's Jatu, perhaps. And the reason why is because these men stood at the legs of the elephants as to kind of defend them in battle. And that's why they have that name. So I think that's really cool. Don't worry, peasants. We have no quarrel with you. But we do have quarrel with you, especially because you attacked us on your own. That was a foolish thing to do. That was a really foolish thing to do. Cavalry. Way off to the side. Infantry. Yes, infantry. A little bit up. The horse, I guess, is still alright. Let's give him a workout to get some prisoners. This is an interesting map. We can see my troops kind of from a distance. They're being charged by enemy cavalry. They're doing okay. All right. It's on. Wow, they don't even need me. And these guys are going after my cavalry, it looks like. Where you going, man? Ah, Mace just isn't long enough. Cavalry? Follow me. Looks like some of their guys got behind our battle lines. But that's okay. My troops should be able to finish them off. Get off that water buffalo! That mighty beast should not be trod upon by you. What do we have here? Ugh. Ah. I need to find a longer mace, like a two-handed maul or something. I should have bought that one I had. Whoa! Alright. That's what you guys want. Out of my face, camp follower. Man, they didn't see us coming. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you swinging at me? Are you attacking me? I mean, I feel a tickle. Nice. Anything else? You have more? You want more? No? Infantry? No, no. That's not what I want, infantry. I want you to charge. There, thank you. Very good. Is the cavalry still following me? What's left of them? Who do we have? Ming Deserter Leader and Davi. Shoot, that means Tipsuda must have gone down. Yeah, you guys are in for it now. Which one of you is worth the most money? Oh well, I'll just shoot you. I am terrible with this pistol. Holy wow. Alright, cavalry charge. Somebody needs to run these guys down. Frigoberto certainly isn't going to do it. Not in this heavy armor. This battle kind of sucks. It's not really worth much because we're just fighting patrollers. It's not a lord or anything. It's just, that's kind of nice. That's epic. It's good screenshot material right there. I don't know how to take screenshots, so I'm just going to... Uh, let you look at it. We could do a sweeping Michael Bay 
Vista. There's some explosions in the background. Yeah. Not sure how that sound effect's gonna play out in the actual recording. We'll see, I guess. We shall see. We only lost three and they were wounded. Yep, Tipsuda and Winhimu. Well, that's what I get for having a relatively tiny cavalry component. Okay, the swordsman might be worth something. The Ming is definitely worth something. The long swordsman. I don't think I'm going to get much for the peasant women. But look at all these fun toys we now have. That's not really worth taking. Yeah, none of this stuff really is. Well, it sounds like we got another water buffalo. Yeah, we did. A sway-backed water buffalo. Not sure what that means. Except that he walks with a cadence. And Yamada's... They're having a bromance. Yamada and Shopper Kimpy. Because they're both foreigners. So Yamada's from Japan, obviously, and Shopper Kimpy is from... Wherever Dutch people are from. Holland. <laughs> the Netherlands. <laughs> All right, Davi, what's up? We got, you're our spotter and our tracker. We'll get agility up a little bit, just because we're getting another level in it. And we'll give you, gosh, what should we give you? I guess power draw, so you can start using better bow. That's a good idea. And we'll get you better in that. We are keeping Davi. And her tracking, she'll never get good enough to eclipse that. But we could get pathfinding and spotting up. Is she our pathfinder right now? I'm not even... No. That's Lurkin. Alright, so we still have to... If we lose Lurkin, we're going to be in trouble. So we're going to need to keep an eye on that. Laosh and Noble, huh? What's that about? Okay. Alright, that's cool. Veteran Wacko Bandit. Very cool. They look kind of samurai-ish. Alright. So all that leaves us to do, looks like before the end of the episode, is to do something for Gilberto. I think we're going to agility 12, and then we'll go back to intelligence to get lots and lots of skills. Like bow skills and nunchuck skills. But right now we have a point. Let's do inventory management, because prisoner management, he's the only one taking prisoners. And that might not always be the case if we find him a really good sword. And firearms, of course, we need to improve. And two-handed weapons, because we're eventually going to have a two-handed blunt weapon. Alright. So we're still at full strength, although some people are in bad shape. Let's just make sure that they're... There's somebody. Trin Gang, but he... He saw me, and... Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode, the epic battle with Trin Liang. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.